Hello my fellow game melters, what is going on? Valentin here bringing you Android Gem number 6, a game called Tiny Thief that is in some way related to Rovio Mobile, the creators of Angry Birds, although it has nothing to do with the series. I'm not sure how to describe Tiny Thief. It is something like the way a child would picture Robin Hood, steal from the rich, give to the poor consisting mainly of yourself and get in silly trouble along the way. As usual, we're going to have a look at the graphics and sounds of the game first and then see what gameplay lies beneath. Tiny Thief makes you feel like you're in some cartoon animation, simple 2D graphics and hopping animation for most of the characters. Anything from the backgrounds to the tiny objects in front is made with an enormous amount of detail. That is not to say overly complicated textures or anything of the sort. The game actually uses mostly flat colors and has an interesting way to show you which items are interactable. Just like in the days of Tom and Jerry, you know that the tree branch in different shade of brown is the one that would snap. It is not that obvious at first sight, but Tiny Thief successfully communicates what you can and cannot do without ever really telling you. Before each level you get a hand-drawn comic strip explaining the situation and acting like an introduction. A detail which was not necessary but which has the feeling that there is some continuous story behind the game. The other place where you can see some great execution in terms of graphics is weirdly enough the hint section. Every day you can open the hint book in order to see the solution of a level and instead of the old boring series of arrows showing you where to go, you actually get a collection of sketches and schematics just showing you the main interactions you need to do in order to complete the level, omitting the little tedious details. This approach, combined with a few other factors, demonstrates just what a strong team of artists with a good direction can achieve. Sounds and music come in next. To be honest, there is not all that much to be said about the audio in Tiny Teeth. This is not to say that the sounds or music are bad, there is just nothing special about them, not in the way it is with the graphics at least. Background music is good and doesn't get in the way, it changes up depending on the level and situation and reinforces the overall feeling of the game. Sounds seem to have come out straight from the Courage the Cowardly Dog animation. Clean and somewhat cartoonish, even the humans in the game give out an intangible gibberish when they're supposed to speak, making the whole thing a bit more comical. You're still stealing stuff though and there's nothing fun about that. Anyway, through the means of deceit and theft, we make our way to the golden egg here, Tiny Thieves gameplay. This is where the attention to detail from the graphics has been translated to pure master of execution. If you ever make a game and want to know just how much detail you should take care of, check this one out. Levels that look simple and straightforward turn out to be branching and have more to them than what meets the eye. The goal in each level is simple, there is an object somewhere that you need to get your tiny stinging hands on. Make sure you stay hidden though, as detection means you need to restart the level. There are a ton of objects you can interact with and solving a puzzle in most cases means that you need to find the correct order in which those objects are used. For example, you should get those carrots first so you can feed them to the horse and befriend him. Simple stuff like that which seemed perfectly logical when you were 5 but can be somewhat weird when you play it now. I don't know how but the devs managed to capture this exact form of imagination and put it in the game. The main objective in each level is just the start of it though. Every puzzle has three stars to be collected, you get one from stealing the bounty, one for finding your pet ferret which tends to hide in the weirdest of places, and another one for stealing a number of mystery items that can be anything from a gramophone to a pirate captain's hat. Getting those is not always just a matter of finding them, sometimes you need to start a whole chain of events just so you can dive to the bottom of the ocean and grab a pearl. I was surprised by the variety of objects that need to be found and even more surprised by the variety of ways to obtain them. There are certainly several hours of gameplay in this game and it is quality gameplay, you have my word for it. The word of a highly successful 3 star collecting thief. As it is with every other free game, we need to discuss Tiny Thief's monetization model. The game does this the only way I like to see it done. You pay for more content, not for progress. Tiny Thief is broken down into episodes and you get the first three for free. There are three more and you can either pay 150 for each of them or buy them all for 450, a price which I find to be more than fair given the quality of what you get. If you're still uncertain if you need to play this game, le let me help you. Yes, you absolutely need to play Tiny Thief. The only problem is that it is not exactly available right now as development was discontinued. However, you can still find the game with a quick Google search which I tested before making this video so it is doable. Go ahead and do that. Don't use any pirate sites because that's bad for you and are gonna burn in hell. But get your hands on Tiny Thief it is worth it. Okay guys, this was everything from me for today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a thumbs up. Make sure to leave any ideas and questions in the section below. Don't forget, subscribe, find me on Instagram and thank you very much for watching.